Hello everyone, how's it going? I'm Wakrendor, and today we are starting out the Ungoro fun decks. So our first fun deck is going to be uh, involving these quests. I might try to do decks for just all these quests, which, you know, it's not like, it's not quote like fun, like super gimmicky type things or anything, but uh, I was playing around with this, this druid quest, the jungle giant, summon five minions with five or more attack and you get Barnabas who makes all the minions in your deck cost zero. And it's been really fun. So I kind of been playing around with this deck I made. I tweaked it a bit. Uh, kept playing games. And it's actually a standard deck. I know, right? I'm not playing wild mode. So uh, let's go ahead. I've also done a... I tried Murloc, Mage, and Hunter. I didn't have much luck with the Hunter one. But uh, I'm sure somebody out there has already figured out something really good to do with the Hunter one. But... I've been having a lot of luck with this druid one, and so I'm excited to, to just kind of show it off. So, here we go. Where are the opponent? I've also made a deck based around eggs. I didn't even, like, think of Easter, but um, I figured, you know what? I might as well just do that for Easter, right? <laughs> Play my egg deck. I'll probably do that. Uh, I might just do that tonight, because uh it's my egg deck i think it's been one of my most fun decks i've been playing around with this is a great starting hand too actually one thing i find nice is that it always give it always gives you the quest card in your starting hand so like no matter what you do you always get your uh quest card i haven't tried swapping it out but i imagine it would just come right back to your hand all right jungle giants there we go so we've got a coin and innervate and a wild growth. And we're playing a scaly turtle. I only need one more win to get my Maev uh, as well, which is like win 10 standard matches. Alright, Menagerie Warden. Let's go ahead and wild growth here. Uh, Menagerie Warden's really nice too, because you can just copy whatever you bring out. So I've been playing uh, that uh, one card. It's like a Cobra. And when it dies, it brings out a card from your hand. And I've been able to bring out the Sabertooth Tiger that's 8-2 stealth like three times now. And then I just Menagerie Warden copy it. And it's like, boom, 16 damage the next turn. Unless, there it is, the Anaconda. <laughs> Summon a minion with five or more attack when you die from your hand. Uh, let's go. I can just throw Volcano Sword out there right now that I'm looking at it. Uh, Because I don't want to... Put an anaconda out there and then not adapt that. So maybe I'll do volcano soar. Maybe I'll do the bright eyed scout. Nah, you know what? I think I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna put that volcano soar out there. And let's give him uh, wind fury. And let's make it so he can't be targeted by spells or hero powers. That'd be pretty nice. Job done. Hell yeah. I've noticed one thing with this new uh, expansion. It's that the games are going a lot faster. Hey, hey you can't do anything. Um, I just I tried to do a spell on it. Uh, a lot of people so are playing more rush decks, but I, I've actually enjoyed it because there's a lot of people who are just playing like straight up like, I'm going to try to rush them down. And there's a lot of people who are like, I'm going to try to do my quest like what I'm doing. Um, all right. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I've just... I've really enjoyed it. Uh, there's a Wrath. I think I'm just gonna Wrath here. Get one damage. I'll kill that. Charge Devil Sword. Alright, I'm gonna do this. Kill this guy. And we're gonna do two Wind Fury hits to the face. Actually, maybe I should have taken out the 4-3. It's whatever, though. I'm gonna... I'll get him low enough to the point where... I'll just get a bunch of minions out there and just destroy them. That's the plan. Next turn, I could actually do a Menagerie Warden. Copy it. As long as he doesn't die here. Haha, <laughs> he still can't cast anything on it. Haha. <laughs> um, Tar Lurker? Alright. So that's an interesting card where it like uh, gains four attack. 
All right, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead, copy him. That'll bring us up to three out of five for the quest. I'll kill that. And I put this Bitter Tide Hydra in here. Because, uh, I mean, it's a five mana 8-8, eight, eight, but it's just you take a lot of damage when you use it. So I don't know if I even really want it here anymore. I might just swap it out for something else. I'm sure there's something I don't have in the deck and everyone's going to be like, why didn't you put that in the deck? I like the Charge Devil Soar because if you can bring it out with the Anaconda, then he just gets a Charge 7-7. Seven, seven. What? What does that do? Destroy a minion and one of your mana crist. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. So, I mean, at this point, I might as well just throw that Anaconda out there, you know? E and then hope for the uh, Devil Soar, I guess. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit him in the face, and then I'm going to kill this 4-3. Alright. Then next turn... I don't know what I'll do. I'll have Innervate if I need to play something. I want to see what I draw. I mean, if you can't... Alright, there's this Taunt. So that'll keep him alive. Giant Wasp. Giant Wasp is actually a pretty nice card. Stealth Poisonous for only three mana. Alright. Uh, oh, I can just win with uh, Charge Devil Soar. <laughs> Why did I, I didn't even think of that. Boom. Whap that. Oh, I got Jungle Giants too. Nice. I don't really need to... There he is, Barnabas! Hey, hold on, I gotta win! <laughs> Where's my GG button? I get my Maev. Hooray. Um, so yeah, that one, went, that one uh, went pretty well. I'm gonna keep playing it. I really like the Druid. Uh, the Druid deck. The Druid quest. A lot more fun. It's a lot more fun than the Jade. The Jade, whatever Not last expansion yet. was. Um, I, I tried out Mage. Mage. I, must protect the uh, I, don't know, I wasn't. I wasn't really feeling Mage. I might do Rogue. Rogue seems pretty fun because you get all the minions in your deck are five five. So that might be a fun like low cost minion deck and just make them all five five. Uh, I'm gonna swap all these. Let's see what we get. Elder Longneck, Menagerie Warden, Anaconda. Eh. Elder Longneck's pretty good early on. Because he's a 5-1 for 3 mana and you get an Adapt. And then you just gotta hope you get like... Uh, something like plus health or Divine Shield where he's not gonna die right away. Unless you wanna risk it. Alright. Wait. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, I've been... Yeah, I've been loving this expansion so far. I've been loving everything they've done with it. Um, I think it's a lot more fun to play, just like the games, because they are going a little bit faster. Uh, let's go. Coin. I'm gonna drop him and hope for the health. Come on, health! Oh, are you kidding me? <sighs> I guess I'll get living spores, because he's gonna die. Whatever, he plays into my quest, that's so fine. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, and then we'll have three, I can do four, five. I don't have a five though. I got a six, seven, eight. Not on my watch. Argent protector. He's gonna kill it. Nothing I can do. I think he's gonna kill it. He's taking a while to really I mean there's no reason for him not to kill it. Dude, just kill it. Just take it out. Just go. There you go. You did it. Now I get plants. <laughs> hey, plants. Uh, Tortal and Forager. I think I'm gonna go ahead and play him. My and we get Illidan Storm Rage. If you don't know what he does, he uh, adds a random mini with five or more attack to your hand. And he's always like, Dadleberry! <laughs> oh, he's Yeah, we'll take that out. 
Okay. What? Oh. Butter, butter, burp. Okay. So he's got the Pandaria will be ours guy out there. Four, five, six. I can play Illidan. I am just going to play Illidan here. Alright. Then I can play uh, at least at least the Trailblazer next turn. I actually played this already, and it's a pretty fun card. So you play it, and she shuffles the sealed Ungoro pack, and then when you play that pack that you draw, it uh gives you like five cards. Like you just opened a pack. So I got like a legendary. I got a mage legendary in it. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and play that. Maybe we'll draw it. Maybe it'll happen. So there goes the pack into our deck. We're going to take out this guy. To taste my uh, I'm going to go ahead and take out the Divine Shield. So I got two Menagerie Wardens. I can copy a lot of beasts. A lot of beasts. Reporting for duty. Light fuse Stegadon, adapt your silver hand recruits. Uh so he's trying to do the silver hand recruit deck. I wanted to try doing that too, I haven't tried it yet. Oh my god, that's not good. Adapt is actually really cool too. I like adapt a lot. It's one of the more fun mechanics they've added. Uh Wrath. Alright, well <laughs> know what I'm doing now. And we get evolving spores, so we can adapt. Uh, and I guess I'll take that out. To yeah, I'm not gonna adapt yet. Let's hit him in the face. Alright. So next turn I'll have seven mana, I can play the Anaconda. I just gotta hope they don't bring out menagerie wardens. That's the only downside of this is like if I have menagerie wardens, I don't want them to summon them out from my hand, so then I can't battle cry with them. Alright, here comes Murlocs. <laughs> and a Frost Wolf Warlord. Interesting. And he's just gonna hit me in the face. Okay. Uh I gotta swipe. Where um I could evolving spores and hope I get like a divine shield. That might be really nice. And then, uh, actually four, three. I could swipe that away. Six. She uh. I'm deter if I swipe that, I'll kill everything but him, and he'll be down to six. And then I could just kill it with something. But if I swipe him, I'll get him down to three. And then that'll be. Eh, I think it's better to swipe that. And then he's down to six, and I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna kill him. And then I'll just do that armor up, hit him in the face. Alright. Now I just need two more minions to get, uh. Get Barnaby. Or Barnabas? Barnab <laughs> it's all the same. Barney? Barney, Barnabas? Barnaby? Bog Creeper? Interesting. I could play the Charge Devil Soar. In fact, I will play the Charge Devil Soar. Um, yeah, I will. And I'm just going to do this. I'll take it out. <laughs> I'll take some damage, but I only need one more minion. So next turn, I can get my Barnabas. And maybe do seven damage to him if he can't kill it. Lost in the jungle, so he's gonna summon some silver hands. <laughs> I'm curious as to what like quests everybody's enjoying. If you've been uh if you've been playing around with quests and stuff, post below and tell me which quests which class quest out of all the quests you've been enjoying the most? Because for me, it's definitely Druid. 
I didn't. I thought Hunter was gonna be more fun than what it was. So I, st I still gotta play Rogue. Shaman, the Murloc Shaman one is super fun. I love it. Um. Oh shit! I could just, <laughs> I could do the copy. Do I want to do the copy or do I want to like? Oh, for, yeah, no, I gotta do. I gotta do this. Join the pack. Oh, and he comes out as a. S oh, never mind. <laughs> I was like, is he really gonna be a seven seven? All right. Well, I got Barnabas, and then uh. One can take that out. He can hit him in the face. I'm gonna armor up. Do that. Kill one of those. Um, what other ones? That, oh, I played. I made mage. I already played mage. I said that. Warlock's one I really want to try too. But I haven't played that yet because the discard mechanic actually seems really fun. And I played against the warlock, who uh actually was having a lot of fun with his discard stuff, and it was really strong. Uh, what's the other class? Warrior? I haven't played a warrior yet. Um, and Paladin. Paladin's the other one. I actually played a Paladin deck and... Oh no, the Paladin, that's what it was. My egg deck is with the Paladin, so I'm not going to talk about that too much since uh, I still... Well, I'm going to play him. Since I still uh, want to make a deck revolving around it. So you'll just... You'll have to see it. Uh, so now, Sick might as well just take that out. I'm gonna play the Bright-Eyed Scout. Actually, no, that's gonna make a minion I have for zero. Alright, that's only good before I play Barnabas. <laughs> uh, so you know what? Maybe I'll just adapt here. Let's do it. Stealth until your next turn. Uh, Poisonous. No, let's do Stealth. Do -do 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 -do. Then I could copy a Barnabas next turn. Spawn him to Zoth. Bless you. Oh my god. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Reporting for duty. What the shit? <laughs> I got really confused. I was like, what was that? My iPhone alarm was going off. <laughs> I was like, what? Okay. Um, well, this is really bad, actually, because now I'm just going to die. Uh, <laughs> I guess I could heal and hope to get something that has taunt. Oh, my God. Praise Jesus. Uh, <laughs> and then I can go ahead and kill Sick this. Up. 8, 9, 10, 11. I guess I could armor up. Kill this. Armor up. I can't believe that actually worked. And now I get a taunt hogger. Oh. <laughs> That's 12, 13 damage. And he is loading up with silver hand recruits, apparently. That's the last card he's got. He's top decking now. He didn't even attack it. Uh. If you control a minion with five or more gain C2. Uh, yeah, not really what I needed. Not really what I needed right now, but I guess I can play it. And it'll come in handy. Uh, I could try to do the Bright-Eyed Scout draw. I think I will. Look, look. And we get a Tyrannus, who would have been zero. So that was just... I was hoping to get a swipe. I was just mainly using it as a thing to get a swipe. Um... If I can just keep taking out all his things, hold on. So I definitely need to do this. Take one of these out. 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 Let's throw down Celestial Dreamer. Take one of these out. <laughs> oh my... I'm gonna lose. Oh wait, no, I get another one. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, oh man, my guy's gonna die. And then I was like, oh wait, Hogger. Thanks, Hogger. <laughs> Do you need a blessing? Young Priestess, still going. So what is this? If he kills both of these, that's 8, 12, 21, 2. I win. I got lethal. It's all over. Let me just make sure one more time. 8. 16, 21, yep, I got lethal. 
Hey. For the wild. Moving on up. Moving on up. Alright, let's do one more. Dude, this I really love this deck. This is really fun to play. I'm probably not even playing it right. I'm probably probably playing it wrong. There's already gonna be someone in the comments like, Crandor, how are you so bad at the game? I don't know. I'm having fun. Uh <laughs> Alright. Now we're playing a warrior. Okay. I'm up to twenty again. Alright, there's the Ultra Sore. I actually managed to pull uh pull an Ultra Sore. Actually, I'll keep that. Um when I did the uh the Stable Master Lady or whatever she is, I forget her name. The one where you pull it and it becomes a five mana. I managed to pull the Ultra Sore, so I got a five mana Ultra Sore. And I adapted him to have uh Taunt or whatever. Uh, yeah, he doesn't have taunt, right? I don't think so. I gave him taunt. And the other dude just spent like four turns just trying to break through him. It's great. Jungle Giants. Uh, maybe I'll, you know what? I'm going to go ahead. Just uh, do this. My favorite. Get a corrupted heal bot. Nice. Just what I didn't want. Giving him health. Thanks, you <laughs> Tortalan Forager. Dude, look how happy he is. He's so happy to find that egg and steal it. <laughs> Um. All right, I'm just gonna Try kill that. One. Try one. Uh, I'll just do this. Get some armor. Hit him in the face. Screw that screw in. All right, three mana next turn. Could be four if I use the coin. That's a war axe. And uh, another swipe. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'll just do this again. I guess I'll try to play the heal bot quick. So that I'm actually able to not have him get fully restored. Well, I guess he could do six damage. And there's the public defender. Probably gonna be all taunt cards or something. All right, let's go corrupted heal bot. At least he counts towards my quest. That's good. And that is the armor smith. Alright, so. That is uh, whenever this minion deals damage, gain that much armor. So that's when they deal damage. So I mean, they're still going to do two damage to me and gain uh, whatever armor, right? But, do I want to kill this guy or I want to just take this out? I mean, I might as well just take this out instead of letting him buff it up or something. Uh, so let's do that. Let's do the one damage. And draw a card. We get the Ultra Sore. And I'm going to go ahead and drop this Celestial Dreamer. Oh, and when you do that, it actually counts towards uh, the quest as well. So that's pretty nice. So already uh, two out of five. And I got my swipes. Two swipes. I never even noticed. Like, look at that bear swiping the tr like people. They're all just really scared. The undead guy's like, no. And the troll's like, uh. And the one dude's like putting his arm out. That's like a really, <laughs> it's a really gruesome picture now when you look at it. I think it's in Blade's Edge because you can see all the spike mountains. All right. So what is this? Direhorn Hatchling. That's the one where you kill it and you get a six nine in your deck. I got you. I got you. Alright, Volcano Soar. Um, Magri Warden. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to swipe the 7 
and then kill it. Then I can kill that. Kill that. He gets the 6-9 taunt. That's fine. And I'm going to go ahead and drop this Forager. See if we get something good. And we get Ethereal Peddler. If you're holding, an, if you're holding any non-rogue class cards, reduce their cost by 2. Oh my god, that's going to be awesome. <laughs> Until I play this and they all cost 0. Will they cost negative 2? Oh. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> that'd be weird though. Oh, and execute. Alright. Alright, alright. Uh, I could copy the Volcano Soar with my Menagerie Warden. That'd be nice. Bright-Eyed Scout. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this Peddler. Where do I drop the Volcano Soar? First, I'm gonna kill this thing. So he'll only get two health out of that. That's fine. Do I want to drop the Peddler, or do I want to drop the Volcano Sword? <laughs> I kind of want to drop the Volcano Sword, because then I can just copy it the next turn. But then the Peddler is going to make everything cost less, so that'd be 5, 4, so that's 9. I still wouldn't have enough mana to play them both next turn, though. Damn. Uh, screw it, I'm just going to play Volcano. Eh, 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 eh. It'll reduce the cost of my swipe, too, is the thing. I'm going to do that. Something Screw it. Unusual. Oh, yes. I just realized that uh, I guess it considers all the neutral cards potential rogue cards. Or not, like, you know what I mean? Okay, so it's only for class cards. Ah, sorry, that ruined everything. I should have played Volcano Sword. So I could have copied him. I goofed it. Iron hide. He's just gaining armor. He's down to two cards though. So that's kind of weird. <laughs> and uh... I need two more. Two more minions to play. Dude, what you got zero mana. What are you gonna do? What, do you, what are you gonna do? Oh, hit me in the face apparently. Fine with me. Uh... <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? There you go. Uh, Bright-Eyed Scout. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to drop the Volcano Sword this time. Get the double adapt. Let's go Divine Shield. And let's go... Um, can't be targeted by spells or hero powers. So he's not going to get executed. I'll take that. Nice. Then I can copy that next turn. And when I do, I'm going to hit my quest and then I'll be able to play nice Barnabas. So it'll actually work out because uh, I wouldn't be able to play Barnabas if I didn't do the uh, Peddler. Alright, ooh, I got Raptors. <laughs> nice little Raptors. Cornered Sentry. Back to work! Little taskmaster. Wait, what? Uh. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Do they re. <laughs> Wait. Uh. Alright, alright. I'm just gonna take that out with my 5 6 divine shield, I guess. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna kill off one of these raptors first off. Yeah, I gotta do that. So I'll play this. Copy that. Copy that. Jungle Giants! We get Barnabas. We go ahead and take that out. Take the Raptors to kill that thing. Play Barnabas. Hit him in the face. And he only has two cards and an axe, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. We also have Moonglade Portal. You can just heal up. I have a swipe. I'm I'm putting my win rate at this one at about a uh, 98%. 98% win rate. You take the Vegas odds of this one. It's just uh, <laughs> three to one. It's just I don't know. I'm just I'm trying to say sports stuff. Uh, 
they always do that too. They're like, oh, you take the Vegas odds, and it really just adds up out there. I gotta go with the. Oh, well played. He actually said well played. You know what? I can respect that. Hooray! Dude, I'm almost past 20. Uh, wow, I won every game. That felt great. Uh, granted, I am ranked 20, but you know what? I was playing standard. So, that makes me feel good. Uh, either way, any suggestions you, suggestions, suggestions you have, leave them in the comment section below, because I really enjoy this deck. Hold on, I'll show you it again. Um, I really enjoy this deck. I think it's fun to play. Uh, and if you're like, ah, oh, you should take out that thing and put in that thing, I'll be like, oh, maybe I should do that, because this is, this is pretty fun to play. So, thanks again for watching, and, uh, I'll be having a lot more Hearthstone and Goro stuff in the near future. Okay? Okay. See ya!